the apparition is for me basically the first step that Adam takes to his downfall, to the fall of man, because it has the premier busy in it, the first kiss that he might have experienced by Eve. The title Paradise Lost is a rendition of uh, John Milton's great epic poem, Paradise Lost, but we're not retelling the epic poem here. We're trying to bring associations in the audiences, allusions to certain aspects of Adam and Eve, their expulsion from paradise, what happens to them when they return to Earth. Gib mir den Apfel bei Arbeit Reimann is from the cycle Kinderreime, and it's a very short, witty song, and well, of course, it has the word apple in it and has something childish and obstinate about it, which I really liked. We have quite a large scope of repertoire from early Baroque to late 20th century. For me personally, this is completely normal. That's how I musically grew up. That's my, maybe to a certain extent, trademark to combine various styles to one topic. Maler, das irdische Leben is a song that's representative for the last group of songs on the album, I would say. It's a song that talks about the toils and troubles and hardships of earthly life, which in our program, Adam and Eve, experience. It was very important for me to not only have, let's say, idyllic, pastoral, paradisical, birds and bees and flowers songs in this programme, but also showing what's the opposite of paradise, the actual lost aspect of paradise. I've been an admirer of Julia Strakes for a very, very long time. One of the greatest recitals that I've ever heard was with him and uh, Gerald Finley in Berlin a few years back and um, it was just absolutely mind-blowing and since then I thought oh I've got to work with him. <laughs> Through my actual agent we got in touch who is a good friend of his and so it's um, more of a private connection somehow how we found each other. <laughs> 